I don't want to waste your time, so there won't be an intro. In this video, I'll be covering some of the more advanced mute spots in the game. So let's get right into it. The first one is here on Oregon, and it allows you to mute the lobby hatch from below. And as you might know, lobby hatch is really important on Oregon attack. But the problem is you can't mute the entire hatch. As long as you or as long as Hibana breaches at the southmost corner of the hatch, it will always blow up. The small red circles that you are going to be seeing throughout the video are approximations of the range of Mute's jammer. The next two spots are really helpful when it comes to holding meeting hall, which is a somewhat common strat in the higher levels. And it basically means that your opponents will waste a lot of time because they can't drone you from the lobby side anymore. And well, since the whole strat is based around wasting as much time as possible, these Mute jammers will be really helpful. In general, these spots aren't supposed to make it impossible to drone you. They are supposed to waste a lot of time and they are supposed to annoy the enemy as much as possible. Because that's the real job of Mute. Just like on Oregon, you can only mute part of the hatch, but I still think it's a good jammer. Because you're basically wasting one mute jammer for a chance of denying that hatch. And in my books that w that's worth it. This is the exact same situation as in Chalet and again I think that's worth it. This strat uses up a lot of resources so you should only do it if you are sure that the enemy team is trying to take dirt. And in order to deny it completely, you also need Jaeger devices to block any kind of nades. Muting the hookah entrance is really useful when you're defending both bar and sunrise and hookah itself. Now you might say that mute jammer on the counter is pretty obvious and easy to destroy, and it yeah, is, but again, the point of these mute jammers is to be as annoying as possible, and that mute jammer certainly is annoying. The jammers in blue bar and office only mute part of the room, but I still included them because they work really well together. This mute jammer is really good because it denies information about white stairs, which is one of the most important spots on the map because it allows you to have a lot of map control. Consulate is another great map for vertical mute play because there are a lot of crates lying around where you can place your mute jammers on top. Unlike the spots on Oregon, Chalet and Clubhouse, there's actually no easy way to circumvent this mute jammer. 
But it's not like this Dimmy Jam is game changing because you can always destroy it through the floor. Or in this particular situation, you can just blow up the wall right next to the hatch and the hatch will be destroyed as well. All of the jammers on Consulate are best used when you're also holding piano and toilets. Because it will make it really hard for the NF team to drone you out, but they have to anyways, because you can't really win in a Consulate attack without taking control of piano. The setup for this spot is a bit tricky, but once you're up there, just hold down mouse 1 or R2 and move around a bit until it works. This spot on Skyscraper is universally useful for every site on this map because Terrace and Drum are just the most central points in the map. Alright guys, that's it for the video. There are some other spots where you can use mute vertically, but you know, as always I only included the ones that I found really useful. Anyways guys, thanks for watching.